Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So, are you a PC user and you've always been jealous of those cool Mac window animations? The screens flipping in and out, stretching as they minimize? Well now, thanks to the Window FX software by Stardock, we can have those cool window animations and transitions on our PC. So I'm currently running a 30-day free trial of this Window FX software. I think that's a really great deal. You get it for 30 days for free. See if you want to keep it. There's a limited version for about $10, I believe. Then there's a full version for right around $50. So before we jump into the software here, I'll show you some of the animations I have set up. So here's my minimize. Just kind of disappears and floats down to the bottom. I have a right menu animation. You see that it's kind of a barn door. It swings in and swings out. Now whenever I open a window, there's the animation. It kind of flips in. My favorite though is when you exit a window, blam, just kind of disintegrates and falls away in a cloud of dust. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So let's bring that back up here and we'll take a look at the features of this software. So we'll see, first of all, we have tabs up here at the top. These are different windows and menus and icons and things that you can customize. First one here is animations. We'll zoom in here, down here. You can see you have windows, menus, and movement. You have a drop down here of presets that you can try out um, and it's kind of like a, a starting point then you can go in and customize the great thing though is that you once you get your setup complete here you can save it as a preset so like I've saved one as Sam one here and that's the one that I use but now we'll look at the different animations and you see when you click on one you get two boxes over here that pop up you get a preview box and this will preview the animation you get a configure box and this is how you can kind of configure the animation to tweak it a little bit and all the animations have previews here some of them like this one you can't configure but most of them you can So you can kind of come through here and play around with them, decide which one you like, which one looks best, and you just leave it highlighted. Then you can go on to the next set of animations, and a lot of the animations are the same. Now in here in movement, uh, this is your window movement. I have mine set to wobble, so when you move it around it does this cool wobble effect. It's pretty, pretty cool, I like that. You can also kind of toss it around the screen and it, uh, it kind of bounces around. It, it basically gives the window physics. So you can customize all that here. Our next tab up here at the top is window management. And in here you can customize window resizing. Next we have the right click menu. And uh, this gives you a lot more options when you right click on something and you can pick and choose what those are here. Next tab is inactive windows and this one you can customize when you're clicked on a window like this the other windows in the background will you can set them to dim so that all your attention is on the active window here in front you can also set the inactive window to be slightly transparent like I have over here. You can see the clock peeking through that window. Next tab is movement. Now in here you can enable window flicks where you could flick it to one side and it would automatically snap to that side. Uh, I don't have mine enabled because it's a, it's a feature that I just don't use. And the final tab here is desktop icons you can adjust the transparency of your icons you can also set uh, which I have here is double tap to hide your icons that's kind of a nice little feature you know if you've got a ton of icons on your screen you can just double tap them 
cleans them right up. So really cool software. I think I'm going to keep it on my system. As I said, this is Window Effects by the company Stardock, and this is version 6.0. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.